Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me uh, with episode 18. If you haven't seen it, um, feel free to check out my playlist. Today, I have a real problem. Now, the problem is when I do an episode, I normally would like to, I guess, give you um, a tip or something, you know, uh, so that when you're doing your stuff, uh, then, you know, you could, uh, you know, use some of um the uh, tips from my journal now the problem is today is i actually really like this um uh, this picture and i don't really want to um destroy it or put anything too much on it so i was thinking and also when i was looking through my box i saw this flower what I was thinking of doing was to actually doodle this flower on this page. And I was thinking, mm, I'm not sure if, you know, if you're willing to watch it. But you know what? It's my journal, I guess. And uh, feel free to let me know if it did work or it didn't. Like as in, you know, um, but sometimes I do like to journal on, on magazine pages and um, or black paper. And so I was thinking that I might do that for this one. So let's see how we go. So I'm using this as an example and I'm just going to doodle on here. I don't know if I'll add anything at the end, but um, watch and see. So do you know what? Sometimes I'm just thinking it's just too simple. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to do it. And, um, and so that's why, you know, I have my doubts, right? But maybe if we just go with the flow and it doesn't really matter if we make a mistake or you know we find that it didn't actually work or turn out the way we we really wanted to because i think sometimes in fact i think most of the time that is how we learn i mean we know that but you know sometimes i think that we just lack courage and I do that all the time but ever since I started junk journaling I decided that I'm going to try to be brave brave enough to try things that I've never tried before and and just go with the flow uh, of things and see how they turn out. They may turn out okay, and they may not. And this is even scarier because I'm actually making a video, and I don't know what you are going to think about it. That's even, yeah, it's, it's interesting. So, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do do it anyway because this is the journaling process and sometimes in the process, we learn things not just about the process or about the actual art, we learn things about ourselves, right? Which is something that I have actually learned a lot through junk journaling. Um, about myself, about how I, my perfectionism has stifled my creativity. And I think that um, we all face that. You know, we have that inner critic in us and it's so easy to fall into that, that, you know, uh, that situation where we are criticizing ourselves. But, you know, I was thinking the other day, you know, how about those artists that have sketchbooks? What do they do with the sketchbooks? 
they are trying things out okay and um and none of them like i know my sister she um she she's pretty much an artist well she has obviously done art more often than me actually and that's why i mean i'm you know i haven't done art myself um at all actually not even at school i used to get my mum to help me draw something she used to even remind me of that which which is absolutely true and i don't know something came over me uh it must have been in me i don't know i i don't know really or maybe because i'm allowing myself to explore and make mistakes and that's why i have progress much more than before um so with artists do you notice that they they have their sketchbooks and like my sister she said you know what sometimes she doesn't even finish what she created what she started and i think that that is so so true you know like we we tend to want to criticize what we're doing but yet it is actually in the doing and in the practicing um that you get good at something or you you improve in that uh if you had seen me a few months ago before i started junk journaling i wouldn't be able to do this like free hand drawing like this because i was afraid to make mistakes but i am even surprised at how i'm not panicking i'm just like going with the flow whatever where the wind takes this drawing i'm just going to 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 do it and i found that i was also able to um you know like follow with my eye rather than being afraid of making mistakes and reminding myself that it could just be an impression of the drawing rather than than the drawing itself like it could just be that right and so i'm i'm learning lots and i hope to encourage you if you are you you know if you are criticizing your work don't because it's part of the journey and i want to encourage you to take up that pen and if you think that your drawing is not good or your doodles are not up to scratch don't worry because it is in it is in the drawing it is in the practice that we we get good at it and i'm telling myself this because I know that I would never achieve anything if I am fearful. Fear really does stop us from living our best life, you know. It's something that I learned during COVID. Um and it is just one of those things that we have to learn how to get past. Uh imperfections and being so critical of what we we are trying to um practice i don't know how this is it's sort of okay sort of okay um um I, if you're wondering what pen this is and if your first Like if you haven't watched my other videos, this is a uh, Jelly Roll Uni Ball Signo pen. I will put the link on Amazon. Uh, it's an aff affiliate link, but you can check it out there if you're interested. So I was thinking, what else can I do here? Um. I might go just some squiggles. Maybe. 
maybe I might do some doodling uh, with um, again I'm practicing my hand lettering which is not great Blame. where your planted not the best but it will do for today turning up to do art and to be creative is more important than getting it perfect and I'm just going to put some marks here do you like doodling on um, your pictures or you know your work um, do you find it relaxing? Let me know in the comments. And I would really love to get to know you because I have got to know some uh, of my dear friends that uh, respond and comment. You know, it's really um, amazing because I feel I know you guys. Like I know you personally, even though I've only met you uh, from YouTube uh, and it's a blessing I'm just so so I went over this twice just to give it more of like the squiggles um I think I'm happy with that, but I was going to put some words on it. So let me just go and find it. So I found this um, vintage vision uh, and I'm going to glue uh, this onto here. Although I'm just thinking whether to put a little bit of lace on it. Um, let me just see the um, the back page of this is also really interesting but unfortunately you know you're gonna have to choose and that's the I think the problem with using magazines um, you know that sometimes you'll find that you're gonna have to make a choice between the front or the back because both is worthy of being in your journal um, so if you if you haven't actually doodled before, uh, it's a good way or do your own art on your journal, right? It's a good way to add personality and um, add interest to your journal because it's it's not going to be like anyone else's journal because it's your work and also you get to practice. Um, you know, you get to practice um, uh, doodling and drawing and painting. And it's free, right? It's free ephemera. Uh, so um, I want to encourage you, if, if you haven't tried, please do try. And if you do try, please comment on my video and let me know if you, you have tried. Now I'm just going to get some lace just to enhance this, this, um, this thing, I think. Um, so let me just go and grab that. All right, I decided to actually staple this here to the page just to add extra texture with the stapler. And I think I'm going to do that here. And that should sit there all right. How appropriate is this? It says vintage uh, vision, right? And it's all to do with vision. It's spectacles here or your glasses, right? Which I didn't realize until I <laughs> was stapling that. 
So there you go. It's only simple, but I think it's, well, I'm happy with it. I don't know if you are. Let me know uh, what you think. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you then. Bye.